In this video, I am going to tell you the most important topics of mathematics for ICC 10 semester 2 examination. I will start chapter wise and I guarantee that you will get questions based on these topics. I will start with reflection. Now you will get questions on uh, reflection of a point in a line parallel to y axis or x axis and so on. Uh, but uh, a very important question is identify the geometrical figure. They will ask you to reflect the uh, points in the line maybe x axis or y axis and in this graph when the figure is plotted by you they'll ask you to identify the figure. You must be aware about all these figures like quadrilateral, square, rectangle, rhombus, kite, parallelogram, trapezium. They are very important. And if you don't know about five-sided figures, if a figure uh, is of five side, then it's known as pentagon. Right? For six, it is hexagon. For seven, it is Hepta. And then for 8, octagon and uh, so on. I'll also tell you about my ebooks. Like you can see for ICSE 10, I have released these uh, 5 ebooks uh, Computer Full Slavers, English Language Full Slavers, Chemistry All Reactions, and Maths Full Slavers. Now the features are uh, really very authentic and uh, I think. I have made them affordable for all of you. In mathematics, you can see that uh, you will get chapter wise handwritten notes, then all formulas are covered. Expected solved questions are there in maths ebook, then chemistry, all reactions are there, computer applications, programming, output questions, four theories there, English language, email, notice, and letter, writing, everything, answers, and formats. Then uh, next is physics ICSC formula ebook. And it has all the formulas according to the reduced labels. If you want to purchase it, the link is in the description box. You can purchase it from there. The samples are also attached in the link. Moving to the next chap chapter that is section formula. Now this is formula based and uh, questions on tri section are important. If the ratio is not given, then you have to assume k is to 1 as the ratio and then solve it. Then centroid of a triangle. Make sure to practice these questions. Now in this chapter, equation of a straight line, the equations, forming equations are very important and uh, you should be familiar with uh, one slope, point slope form and then other forms are there. This equation is uh, equation of a straight line in slope intercept form. Then a uh, line in point slope form that is one point form is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. And then they'll ask you uh, like two lines with slopes m1 and m2 are parallel. For that case m1 is equal to m2 when they are perpendicular then the slopes the product will be equal to minus 1. An important question is to prove that the points in a line are collinear. Three points are said to be uh, collinear if they lie on a straight line. If they ask you to prove that these three points that are in this straight line are collinear, then you will have to prove slope of AB equal to slope of BC. And slope is also known as gradient. Now for circles, all theorems are important. And please refer to the previous eight questions of all these chapters. For mensuration, all the formulas of uh, cone and cylinder must be learned. And uh, they'll ask you to transform cone into cylinder. Like they'll ask you how many cones will be formed from this cylinder and so on. 
make sure to practice those questions they'll definitely come melting and recasting if you have any problem with this chapter then you can watch my video i've explained each and everything be it the relations identities or how to prove questions and it's all based on again formulas and those relations those identities practice a lot of uh, proving questions if you are unable to prove like it's not important that you always start from left hand side you may start from right hand side and then uh right lhs is equal to rhs suppose you're not able to do it from any uh, of the sides then like you solve left hand side and you come to a point where you are not getting right hand side one thing you can try is to uh, solve right hand side as well you will do this in rough part okay and uh, after you solve you will get a similar statement and then you will start copying it in the reverse order now for statistics again you have got mean median mode and uh, if you want to find out mean and it's not specified that you have to do it by this method then you can use any method maybe the shortcut method or the direct method or step deviation method you'll get the same answer you can try out any if it's not specified in the question that you have to do it by a particular method and i feel shortcut method is the easiest make sure that uh, your calculations are not wrong in between otherwise you will lose a lot of marks in case your calculation is wrong in any line then uh, again all those formulas of median and mode quartiles they'll be helpful uh, while calculating and uh, yes the graphs histogram and ojai curve make sure to practice both of them you think that you'll be able to do it uh, in the final day no practice it take a graph paper write down other uh, details everything x axis then y axis make sure to mention the units okay like 2 cm equal to 1 unit and so on now probability card questions are the most important okay 52 cards are divided into 13 13 13 13 where you will get hearts diamonds spades and clubs okay they may ask you the probability of uh, black cards or black queens and so on you should be prepared for everything then coins and dice questions must be practiced previous year questions have a look practice from sample papers the best are your school question papers borrow school question papers from your friends try solving them right the easiest chapter uh, in the whole book is probability i just summarize 13 hearts 13 diamonds 13 clubs 13 spades and uh, you will get four suits out of 13 like uh, four suits are there and then numbered cards from 2 to 10 now these four suits means ace king queen and jack right and this is a uh, same for every pack 13 13 13 13 so you can uh, also comment if you want a video on probability i'll explain it to you it's a very easy chapter thank you for watching this video have a good day